Yeah, everyone's arrived. Not everyone's trained today because um, obviously the Saris boys I'm, I'm lock, long got in and we've done this morning session, but everyone's here safe and well. Yeah, I think the intensity's been there from day one, in fairness, because everyone wants to represent the Lions and, and, and put the best foot forward. And the skills and the, and the quality has been unbelievable to work with. So, yeah, the boys have, have hit the ground running. Um, well, we are where we are. Um, everyone, I think, would always like a little bit more time. Um, but the, the, the boys have picked up the principles we've been um, chatting about and training about. So they, they're in a good place mentally and, and physically. And look, there'll be things that won't be won't be perfect on the weekend. But I think there'll be a lot of things that, that we'll be able to achieve from the game. Yeah, I think it goes back to embedding how we want to, what style of game we want to play. And listen, look, we've we've locked, we've looked a lot long and hard over Japan. And again, they haven't played a lot. They played the Sun Rolls the other day. You look at historical data and how they play. We, we still feel they will play a lot of football. Um, they'll keep the ball for long periods, lots of passes. So it's something we've got to be prepared for, while still instilling what we want to become ready for those test matches. So it's, it's a bit of balance, I think. Oh, definitely. I think Japan are an outstanding um, test match team. You see what they did in the World Cup. See the quality of players they've got. Um, so we, 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 we're making, well, we, we know how good they're going to be. We know how tough a test it's going to be. And obviously, we only come together last Monday. Um, and they've been in camp for a while. They, they've arrived. So we know it's going to be an, an awesome test for us um, come Saturday. Yeah, I think we get up and run in, and obviously we, we really want performance and, and back it up w with a win. Um, and just look, we just want to the things we've been implementing in training. We would definitely want to see that that come out in the game, and then keep building as the games go along. Oh uh, yeah, most uh, all the boys have come through, so there should be no issues there. And again, we we'll finalise the team um, tomorrow. Um, so maybe one or two others may come into contention, but I should imagine it'll be largely the boys that that we. Thanks very much. Well, Hi, Steve. How are you doing? Very good, thanks yourself. Yeah, some of the boys watched it. Um, some of the boys were out and about, so it was pretty much to your leisure. I know some of the boys watching the football, some are watching the, the Premiership game. So, yeah, it was about relaxing and, and doing what the boys needed to do to get ready and mentally and physically prepared for it today. The Saracens guys are due to arrive tomorrow, yes? No, they're here today. They're here today? Yeah, they're here. Yeah, I think there'll be an upbeat mood getting back to the Premiership. But I think when you enter the Lions sort of domain, then you're in an upbeat mood anyway. I don't think it takes a lot to get fired up to be part of the Lions or, or be happy. And you see everyone of what it means to be be a Lion and be part of this group. You just It just comes off everyone and, and the pride and the enthusiasm that comes along with it. So it, it's brilliant that the Saris boys are back in the Premiership. But I don't think it would take any extra motivation to be prepared and ready to go to be part of the Lions group. And Kyle seems to have an interesting one. Obviously, you missed out uh, on the original squad selection. What are you expecting from him? Oh, look, you see the quality he brings. I think how he's reacted um, to the, the non-selection has been outstanding. And you just see him, he's in for day one today. 
he's up to speed with everything. He's done his homework. He's he's really focused and ready to go. And I think that's an exciting place to be to see Kyle coming in so so motivated and you can see what he can do when when, when he when he's in that sort of frame of mind. Oh, look, I don't. I think that is. I wouldn't say it's a disadvantage. They're a little bit behind, but the all, like all the guys you spoke to before that we even arrived at this camp, they're, they're all smart individuals. They're all focused. They'll they'll do all the, their homework and, and catch up no, in no time. I'd say they're all like I said, they're all unbelievable players. And systems is not. I don't think massive change from probably what boys have been used to anyway. It's, it's subtle tweaks and what, what you're finding around the Lions environment, people pick things up so quickly that it, it only takes one, two sessions for these boys to get to where they need to be. So I don't think it'd be too much of um, holding back too much. Ian Beacon said to you at the weekend that what are the lessons he got from his Um, I think it's whatever we feel is right in around the balance of the team. What we what we coming up against Japan and look, I think it'd be, I think everyone will have have the moment in in the lion shirt and look, we'll take lots of things into consideration. But ultimately, it'll come down to what we feel is the best 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 unit to take on Japan on Saturday. Yeah, I wouldn't see it as a curtain raiser. I definitely see this as a full-blooded test match. Japan are going to come here fully focused. You know, well, the performance they put in in the World Cup, I know it seems like a long time ago, but they, they were outstanding. So we need to be fully fo focused on what we want to be and working on the principles and everything we've tried to embed over the last week. And obviously it'll be two weeks by the time we get to that. So i got no doubt this will be fully focused. This won't be a curtain raiser because Japan are coming here to perform, they're gonna. Like then they, they've got some s serious firepower in how they they want to play the game. They keep the ball for long periods, so we know we're gonna have to be ready to go. Thanks, Steve. Go on. Hi, Steve. How are you? Can you hear me? Very good, guy. Yeah, good. Just simple to know, Steve. Um, have you been surprised by anything in the last week or so? Your first Lions experience. How big it is. Uh, you know, everything that goes behind to make it a successful Lions tour. Yeah, well, I think. You obviously, when you're outside of it, you realise the Lions is big. But when you actually set foot, the, the the enormity of being part of a Lions group is just un unbelievable. Um, and then coming in and the, the players coming in and you've seen a lot of them, but then working with them very closely and seeing how good and how quickly they pick things up is just um, blown me away in that aspect. And the best thing of all, they're all, they're all great blokes as well. So we've got outstanding rugby players, outstanding human beings being part of, of a Lions concept that, that is, is is massive for, for everyone. And you've also worked with Scottish guys and people like Alan Wynn, Justin Tipper and Dan Bickerby. Does that help? Yeah, I think it probably helps me more than ever. It helps me settle in. You, you've got sort of familiar faces here. But again, they, they, they're quality players. And then it's been great to connect up with people that I've only seen or, or sort of coached against. So. Yeah, all in all, and I think that's where Gats has done really well in, in getting everyone connected the first week and how everyone's chatting away to each other, talking about ideas, talking about things. So it's surprising with, with, with the COVID bubbles and things, how quickly you do come together and connect up and, and really get bonds going really quickly. And just on Dan, I've seen he hasn't spoken to you spent quite a bit yesterday about his mum. Yeah. Oh, look, it, the end, it's, it's, it's really tough for Dan, I think, in around, like, anyone losing their mother is, is awful, awful to see. But the way he handles himself, I think he handles himself with absolute class and how he can compartmentalise. He is probably one of the people I've worked with that can compartmentalise and just get on with his work. Um, but how he's handling and conducting himself, I, I think um, his mum and his family would be very proud of, of how, how, he's, how he's doing. Against them as opposed to defending against South Africa, how are you going to focus on that for the weekend? 
Yes, it'll be it'll definitely be different. I think um, you look at how South Africa play. Obviously, they, they look to come through the sort of front door first and foremost. And don't go wrong, they've got special players and um, out wide as well. But Japan, very creative. You probably they play with lots of variety, lots of passes in. They hold lots of width. So it's it's definitely going to be a different test for us. But it's going to be an awesome test in round. How quickly can we get up and run in? with our principles and hopefully if we can deal with Japan's threats it'll hold us in good stead then then to get to South Africa. Thanks Steve, good luck on the weekend, nice to talk. Thank you. Steve Walker, uh, how's it going? I will, very good thanks. Um, just one admin point on the guys arriving, is Finn Russell with you yet or is he planning to come today or what the situation? Yeah, Finn's here, Finn's here. Yeah, you, yeah. Um, I think he was in yeah, this morning. This morning, you're right. Cool. Um, and yeah, just following on from that previous question about Sarri's lads earlier, um, on the field and off it, how much of a boost would it be having those, I guess they're kind of like your ready-made, already proved five, aren't they? And you've got them to talent and experience the likes of Kimpo, Londe, Suman getting up to speed with them? No, definitely not. It's, it's obviously for us getting the, the whole thir 37 together as quickly as possible. It's great that that's finally happened. And like you said, they've got experiences from previous Lions tours, winning European Cups, like getting back to Premiership, winning Premiership. So these these boys have done it at the highest level. They know what it takes and they know what connects a group as well. So, yeah, everyone's really excited to, to get them back on the training field and, and being fully immersed in, in, in the group. Yeah, look, I think they, they've enjoyed playing and having sort of a bit of rhythm coming into it. I've got no doubt physically the boys will be prepared because obviously they played Six Nations as well, so th th there's no doubt in mind th those boys will be fully ready to go. Okay, cheers, Steve. Thank you. Hello, Steve. Keith with your Lions and AFB. Um, I'm just wondering, if someone had said to you a few years ago when you left the Ospreys and you would be involved in coaching the Lions, what would you have said to them? Yeah, probably not. <laughs> uh, if if I'm being honest, yeah, it was. Um, I'm not someone that, that thinks too far ahead. Anyway, it's just every day you try to be better as as a coach and obviously being true to yourself as what you are as as a human being. But like I've always immersed myself in the work. I've always felt that I've always wanted to get better and and going to Australia definitely helped me grow and and reflect on on my coaching time within the Ospreys and. I'd like to think that's played a major part in getting out, realizing what you could have done differently, some things you'd keep the same. So th that whole experience has definitely helped shape me and I'm really grateful for all, all those experiences. Um, what it does is great, being in the other hemisphere, seeing how they attack and how their mindset works and then being lucky to come back to so Scotland and then being in an awesome environment, getting up to speed with, with international rugby and having the support around me. So. It's a very long-winded answer to your question, so probably no. But yeah, it's it's been amazing to be even when like mentioned in around that realm, but becoming part of it is um, I feel very privileged and, and grateful for this opportunity. Thank you. Hey Steve, how are you? Very good, thanks. Yourself? Oh, he's been brilliant. He's been absolutely brilliant coming in, um, really bought into it. And I think, I know it might be tough leaving, but actually having 24 hours or a week or 10 days within an Alliance environment, I'm sure you learn loads and just being part of it. I think it shows you probably where you need to get to or what you're doing. But he, uh, he's he been outstanding, been very, very impressed with, with how he goes about his business. Great, great kid and actually really impressive on, on the training field too. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you very much. Thanks, guys. All right. We will be back.